Uh, my name is Perry McCord, and I am the new stone fruit breeder at Washington State University in Prosser. When I came to interview back in November, I, I noticed how uh, how eager uh, the industry was to have uh, someone uh, directing the, the stone fruit breeding program. And as far as how that affects me, um, I, I like that. Uh, it means the industry, I, I don't mind some scrutiny. Um, and I like interacting with the stakeholders, or the growers. Uh, so I think, um, but knowing that they're interested, I think it's going to uh, give me that much more of an impetus to reach out and, and introduce myself and get to know them and, and see what their, what their needs are, what their expectations are. What are my, my main breeding goals, my breeding objectives? Um, I'm still learning, you know, I need to meet with the industry more to, to understand more what their needs are, but from what I understand, uh, extending the season both early and late um, for both the uh, blush and mahogany classes. Um, so I think those would be, uh, season extension I think would be my primary target. Uh, we're also looking at uh, fruit size. For the late season, it's pretty critical to have some powdery mildew resistance. So trying to incorporate that into the, uh, especially the later season crosses, uh, would be uh, be critical. So if I was, you know, in a meeting a year from now reporting, I'd like to be able to say that uh, we started, you know, this first year uh, making some targeted crosses, not a full, not necessarily the mature program level of, of crosses made of seedlings produced, but but starting with some targeted crosses of parents we wanted, we wanted to incorporate these traits. Uh, another thing that I would like to take care of in this first year is to get a, uh, a database for breeding management, breeding data management. Uh, there's a lot of data already there, a lot of good data, but I would like to organize it in a way where I can more easily see how a new, uh, potential new variety is performing. Uh, how often are we using certain parents? Are we using some of them too much? Are we use some others more? So putting that database together is uh, a pretty big task that we need to get started on. Uh, and the, the third objective would be uh, continuing to evaluate the material that's already in the breeding pipeline. So we already have uh, seedlings in what we call our phase one and more advanced selections in our phase two. Uh, and so we would, I will have more data on those, those breeding selections to decide what we needed to move next. Hopefully we can move something into phase three. But I think as I get a chance to walk up and down the rows of trees more, to visit with the, with the growers, other people in the industry, that that will sp spark some more, uh, more questions and more areas of interest. I'm excited to learn. This is a, I like cherries, so there's a lot of, lot of uh, opportunities here.